Hello and welcome as it is the 28th day of July 2020. My name is Derek. This is the Money Charts channel where like always all bets, trades and of the like that's within each his own risk and their own reward. For myself, risk reward management is always job number one. And starting off within Bitcoin Cash cross within the US fiat currency, it had a high uh, roughly uh, at the end of 2017 rather of... Uh, around four thousand dollars and well since then it had several lower highs and lower lows an interesting rally will occur that's the april fool's rally of 2018 where bch went from 675 up to 1800 almost and then supporting around 478 and then a quick drop down below 100 has then rallied up to 500 and has been as low as 200 or so currently in a 294 and I, I, I got to think that coins like this, if Bitcoin survives, not only do I think it's a safe bet that Bitcoin cash will survive, but I think it's almost as safe that, heck, it'll probably even overperform that thus go up against Bitcoin. And the volatility in which these coins can present, well, it's magnificent. We were at 4,000. Those levels could easily be taken out in time and thus in retracement mode, retracement from key high to key low. Four. If I were to put in, and I will, a 23.6% exponential Fibonacci mark from this high to this low, it would come in that of $193, which, which was resistance in here. And we can see it most certainly since the breakout has been holding or held on these two, uh, two occasions. Once here at the end of uh, 2019, uh, September, October, but more importantly, at the end of last year in December, held then on the March lows this year holding again and now of course it's breaking out the 38.2 percent key level 350 dollars which the first time it came up to was resisted and then attempt to break out it ultimately didn't do so and resisting it again and ultimately again trying to break out not doing so again so this 350 to 460 area would be the next level of resistance for what would be a third test of that mark would be next. But breaking that, I'd be looking for a 61.8% move. And 920 would be that. And we almost got to think it would break that 1,000 number on any type of move. Hence, it use, it's a psychological level. Even hit 1,000, usually piercing these points extra, which, of course, was the case with the previous two marks. And, and even on the way down, when it supported... And towards this Fibonacci mark at 193, it pierced extra on the way down. Now, as far as where this stands on the a daily chart, we've had a lot of this resistance here over this year at around 202 thirds, 260 something. And it's exceeded that mark. So now that this has been, keyword has resistance, then if there's any pullbacks in this next little bit, I'm going to be looking for the area of 256 ish or so 255 to 275 as its support area 18 average on this, but even on a three day chart because it's extending so big, I could see how this is just going to start to rise and uh, that's going to be very, very important as well, at least for movements within this market. Also nice to see decent sized volume as well to start this breakout. We'll see if it's able to sustain much of a rally because when these things go the potential for huge moves is most certainly in play now a quick look at litecoin which is in at uh, 56 but well also below its 2017 highs which is uh, 420 dollars it then retraced back down after several almost every candle was a red one with the exception of february on the month and it was for 2018 that is and the low here was $22.17 it retested the low at 25 in March and currently it's still only 56 it's uh, just really yada yada within this 18 it didn't break down here to this even to the lower below it but is yet to even attempt to escape it at this point we look at this on a weekly chart well this is another attempt this was a failed breakout fast move lower and now in another attempt to break it. When these things can break, oftentimes, just like this, that wasn't even much of a move. It, it can just fly high kind of deal and just have nice moves, nice higher highs and higher lows. But it's in another attempt via the weekly time frame to do such. And it has really uh, signified the announcement on July the 25th after pausing 
on the 26th with yesterday's today's session against uh, uh, the dollar 10.8 percent yesterday so far today it's in that of uh, 5.1 percent so significant listen to me it's a statement that it's making a play up to that 68 and a quarter most likely piercing extra so 70 dollars most likely as its next target it's got another about 14 13 12 ish or so a dollar move more so it could easily hit a 20 to 30 percent gain from this point on it's in the middle of no man's land well what could we do could we, do we come back first to like 49 50 then go maybe and then maybe this is that of a failed breakout although time of course will tell on that i think one of the key things that i want to talk about overall is that of what it was like back in the past and i'm going to use a regular bitcoin chart in doing so As within BTC, and we'll just do a quick look at the technical analysis on it, then I want to go and I'll talk about its previous run that it had back in 2016 and 17. And in here, it was before we can see excitation from the 18, the attempt, and so far this has been a magnificent attempt with uh, the session two days ago up 2.4%, uh, yesterday up 11, and just really pausing and hanging in there down two-thirds of a percent but pretty much at where yesterday's close came into play on the three-hour term time frame holding very very nicely still but it's uh it's got it's got to do something soon to continue the upper momentum if not we're at least going to go into a neutral base and there's nothing wrong with that occurring just that's uh generally how what i basically see within that and the more longer term stuff which is i think what's more important than here as the uh, like weekly charts, monthly charts, and those sort of deals in here. And after all of this just hanging in there within this 18, this consolidation from the May highs. And May highs, well, now we're almost into August. So we're like two and a half, two and three quarter month rain of going sideways. And okay, now it's leaving it to the upside after amazing correctionary move. I even talked about the possibility of a, a right-handed shoulder. Well, what's the difference if it would have done, other than whatever trades you could have made, yada, yada stuff, but if it were to do this or not? It just means that the sellers did not take any control in here that they could have. There was another opportunity to get some of these profits and sell Bitcoin at the low, decent 9,000 price, 92, 9, but there wasn't much aggression in doing such now buyers are starting to take control of this market and that means this little area of resistance in here is the next initial target which brings us like around 13 up to about 14 but in the 13 thousands is that previous high when we break it then we're talking about the only one time seen basically december january february march basically december january really is all we're talking about here of uh, 2017-18 and that's breaking north of this up to the 20 and then so that range of resistance area i'd be looking at maybe it can consolidate within that 12,000 to 20 but breaking that like omg kind of moments kind of deal and i want and doing so could be very interesting because this is the uh this situation in here that i'm going to be showing is a previous time where it did that and then it went into uh new highs because back in here this was a situation where Bitcoin had its highs, then it had its correctionary move, an attempt to break out here, didn't do so successfully, but it successfully held and stayed within the 18 and most certainly held its previous established support. And then it managed to get past this short-term level of resistance and then work towards retracing between this high of a little over 1,000 and the low that it had made. And during this time frame, as the markets were going up, all those coins like the Litecoins and all those other coins, for the most part, were not doing so well. Just like we can say the same thing here. Getting their ass kicked against the Bitcoin. And then it was about the start of March, end of February of 2017, when it just changed large. It was really like day like seven, eight of me trading from this whole thing, where a big, large crypto bull market had begun. And that would have been roughly uh, you know, roughly around here as it was making new highs and as it was about to do the breakout. So S is what I'm going on. Would this be a very similar thing on a situation where the price of Bitcoin were to break higher that maybe whenever we get to somewhere around this point, 24-ish thousand, 
that's when you start to see, well, when Bitcoin goes from 24 to say 75 or 25 to 75, it does a 3x move. The other altcoins might be talking about doing 10, 20, 30, 50x moves against the dollar, thus overperforming against Bitcoin, as was the case during this bull market run. Of course, time will, st will only tell within that situation. But uh, yeah, there's really not much more that I want to go over. I'd like to thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.